Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it do? It's your boy Stunt Lifestyle, and you're watching the We in Miami podcast. And today is a very, very, very special day. We got the one and only, the young goat in the building. YNWB Slime. What it is, what it is, man. How you feeling? I be chilling. You be chilling. You be, be chilling. Chillin'. And we have the one and only, the mama that made this all possible, Melly's mom, B Slime's mom, Jamie King in the building. Hi, everybody. How you feeling? Feeling amazing. Hey. But before we get started, I got to ask y'all, where we at? We, we in Miami. Miami. We in Miami. Now, you know, we got to, man, this is a crazy day right here. Everybody has been waiting on this interview. Everybody has been trying to get this interview with Jamie <laughs> Damn, King. Son, where'd you find this? We the first to get this is exclusive right here. And she brought her other son, the young goat, in the building. What camera is that? <laughs> Everywhere. Right? But, it's so dope, right? It's so clear. But before we get into it, I know y'all ready, but before we get into it, we got some news stories. Some crazy stuff been going on on South Beach right now. Y'all know we issued, they issued a curfew on South yeah. Beach. It's a 12 a.m. curfew. But now, today, in addition to the 12 a.m. curfew on South Beach, now they got alcohol sales banned after 6 p.m. Like for restaurants as well? Or just like the Just like, nah, just Everything. like liquor stores. The liquor stores. But I think restaurants I think can go rest- till 12. Oh, I, can go to I mean, but what's 12 o'clock? Because they said it's for the sale of any alcohol I beverage for off-premises consumption so i think restaurants you good that's still terrible i know man i feel bad for people on spring breaks yeah. <laughs> yeah. y'all better turn up early yeah. they gotta bring their own bottle party over slime you been doing anything for spring break uh i got my cousin you, you got know? your cousin what's up fam what's your name cousin? man i got my cousin ethan, ethan you know all right what's up fam i've been taking him to the studio he be rapping you know Hi. his name's asl ed i be you know showing him love and other than that, I just been playing video games, hanging out with my friends, and going to the studio. That's what's up, man. I like him because he's so focused. You know, he ain't he trying to be on South focused. Beach dealing with the, all these thoughts <laughs> and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Never. <laughs> and in other news, the mask mandate on airplanes could be lifted soon. Oh. You'll finally be able to travel without a mask on. I'm still wearing a mask. I'm still wearing a mask. Y'all still like, I'm trying to be mask. safe. I'm still wearing a mask. scary. Yeah, because you might be next to that one person that'll call for you. <laughs> That says yeah. 10 U.S. airlines are asking President Biden to lift the mask mandate on flights, including the CEOs of Delta, American Airlines, Southwest, JetBlue, and others. Damn, uh, what's the other one? Didn't ask? Spirit ain't asking. Ask. <laughs> no, they're not going to. Spirit, like, it. nah, we keeping it on they all these people. They, no <laughs> they got enough liability. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, everybody wondering, because I got so many messages, they was like, that is not. Melly and B Slime's mom. She looks like that could be like their sister or they like totally even their girlfriend. <laughs> Do you get that all the time? Yeah, they'd yeah. be like, they'd be like, hey, they'd be like, oh shoot, it's B Slime. Is that your sister? They'd be like, hold <laughs> on, nah, that's my, that's my mama. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know all why the time. Oh, yeah. Does it get weird though? Like, do dudes be trying to holler at your mama? Or you, you be like, <laughs> <laughs> like dudes, you know, like young dudes, like if y'all go somewhere, your boys be like, "Hey man, let me holler at your mom, man." Uh, nah, they, they know better. They know better. Yeah, they know what it is. Hey, none of my friends ever tried to holler at my mama. That's what's up. Cause I remember when I first met her, I was like, "Wait, this is Melly's mom? Like, yo, she looks so so young." But you know, we gonna keep my age a secret. <laughs> I'm like, you must have had them when you. So, how old were you when you had your first child? 14, my age. 14? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's cool. So, you 14? Yeah. Damn, he might be the youngest guest we ever had on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> when your birthday? April 10th. Oh, it's coming up. Oh, oh, so oh, oh you about to be 15. Oh. Yeah. That's what's up. I got so many questions for y'all. Look, before we get into it, <laughs> let's do it like this. Everybody, we'll go around the table. Let everyone introduce yourself and your Instagram. We'll start with you. I'm Christine, and my Instagram's I'm Christine Tran. Okay. 
Hi, I'm Exotic Fruits. Well, actually, I'm Strawberry. My Instagram is Exotic Fruits. And if y'all been sleeping on the rock for the past few years, this is B Slime right here. Got millions of followers on IG and YouTube and Spotify killing the game. Hey, I'm chilling. Hey, (laughs) you know, my name is YNWB Slime. Um, Came out in 2019 after my brother went to jail. So I came out, I started making music, and I'm here. My Instagram is underscore YNWB song. Yo, I got to ask you, what does the YNW stand for? Young New Wave. Oh, Young New Wave. It's really Young Nigga World, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a a t-shirt. Okay, Young New Wave, (laughs) got you. It's it's not politically correct. (laughs) (laughs) That's what's up, man. Well, I'm Cattrall Janae. My Instagram is the, T-H-E-E, the five foot giant. You five foot? Yes. (laughs) Five foot foot giant. How tall are you? I'm five two. You five two? I round up. I I thought you was taller than that. Four eleven. You had on heels. I always wear heels. Today I wear slides. Stand up. You really five two? I'm really little. Oh yeah, yeah. She looks tiny. Yeah. Little spin for everybody. This is the mama <laughs> jer ma- so slash model right here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm 5'2". You a lit mom. I know everybody watching this like, I wish my mom was so lit like her. We in Miami. We in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> but so how was it growing up though? Like, you know, Having a baby at a young age, like, was your family supportive or were you on your own? Was it hard? I have the best support system ever. The best. My mom, my grandmas, like, they definitely had my back. And one thing was, like, with them, oh, you're going to finish school, you're going to get your education, but you also going to be a mom. So I had Jamil with me everywhere. Football games, all that stuff. In wow. School. Yeah. That's dope. Yes, Melly. So Melly's real name is Jamil. Yeah. How did he get the name Melly? Because his name is spelled J A M E L L. So he just took out the J A and put a Y at the end of it. Yeah, he's Melly. Little nickname. So when did you first notice that your children had talent? Oh, when they were little. Like, Jamil, like, when I first realized that he could sing. I almost said, oh, wait, Melly. I realized he was singing everything. It was like, um. That's how y'all know. She is really the mom. I know y'all like, she looked too young. This is the mama. Oh, oh my bad. YNW Melly, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when I realized was when he was like in school or whatever, they had like a play and mm-hmm. they had him sing like the lead song. And it was like actually like a fifth grade play, but he was only in kindergarten. How and old was he? He was like five or six. And he wow. did like amazing. He like did the Lion King. He sung mm. the song, you know, in the jungle. I love that movie. I still yeah. watch that. I love that movie. Y'all saw the new one. Like you saw what Lion King? Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> you don't mess with it. Uh, I guess I, I just watch I watched the first movie and uh, yeah. nothing came. You, you was good after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like remakes. Uh-uh. Yeah. So did you think that Melly would blow up? Oh, I always knew it. He um, was destined. He always used to dance and sing and. Yeah. To be honest, I was I was like, when his success came, I was in school still. So, how old were you when his success came? I was ten or eleven. Wow. And oh I wow! I was in school, and everybody was just like, when I was, I knew he was gonna blow up because when he was like starting to like gain a buzz when he first dropped Murder on My Mind, I was in elementary school with him, oh. and everybody was like, "Oh, are you Melly brother?" Da, da, da. I, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even <laughs> think I had any real friends in. Middle school, everybody just liked me because I was Melly's brother. Yeah. <laughs> so you had a bunch of fake people. Yes, a lot. So everybody came around once, like, he blew up. Yes. Well, at least you're able to spot that yeah, out. Yeah, discern right. that. Mm-hmm. That's true. at a young age. That's good. So what about girls, man? Do you have a lot of, like, groupies ever since he blew up? <laughs> no. Look, I'm mama looking no. like, yeah, do you have a lot of groupies? I'm trying I don't, to know. I don't talk to girls for real. I just, just be focused. Out. I be. I, I like. I just want to um, focus on music. That's like my main focus right now. So you single? Yeah. For all the young girls no, out no, there, no. he is single. <laughs> Slide in his DM now, play. Don't do that, please. <laughs> so are you dating? Is there anyone that you? I know you single and you focus, but is there anyone that you kind of like 
Got your Damn. eye on, like, yo, I kind of checking for her. I might want to see what's up. I ain't going to expose myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, man, you trying to get me in trouble. I got a couple of them that money. <laughs> <laughs> or like his type, maybe. I don't know. Okay, I got to ask you, man. Oh, gosh. Mm-hmm. Is me slime a virgin? Yes. Yes, gang. Oh, he a virgin. <laughs> I'm 14. What you expect? <laughs> and if he wasn't, you ain't going to tell us in front of your mom. Mom going to be oh, like, no, what? No, he would. No, anything. we're very open with each other. Y'all real open with it. And then you got to remember his mom is a nurse. What better person to talk yeah. to about, yeah, you know, sex good. or anything like that than your mom? Yeah. Have you had like the birds and the bees uh, conversation yet? No, I kind of have to figure it out myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only like 14. I basically just turned 14. So, you know. Parents usually had that talk with their kids are like 16, 15. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That man age over there. You 16, fam? <laughs> he just turned 16. You had to talk yet? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, you know, it's dope, man. You so focused and stuff. Because, like, this world has just changed now. It's crazy out here now. Like, I know. Tell me about it, man. You know what I mean? Everything. Man, a lot of people don't know me. this, but you did a lot of behind the scenes with your sons to help them get to where they are today. I did, and I still do. Now, did you uh, <laughs> you manage Melly? No. I basically was just a mom who really, really believed in my son. Mm-hmm. And I, I literally didn't know what I was doing. And then I actually found him a real manager who had more connects. All I knew was how to put something on YouTube mm-hmm. and how to use SoundCloud. And that was like... That's more than most mamas. And I knew how to drive. I drove... When I say I drove Melly everywhere, we was up and down the coast of Florida going doing shows. To the clubs and everything. To the clubs. <laughs> anywhere that booked us, we outside. So lit, mom, right? <laughs> Round of applause for mama. <laughs> say, so yeah, what, what was your, because I know you end up blowing up second. We won't get into that. But what was your initial reaction when you saw Melly making it? Like when you saw it, like what was your initial reaction? Were you surprised or like, like how did you feel? I was just so proud of him. I just wanted him to be great and live his best life you know he was doing something that he loved and doing something that brings him joy and that's all i ever want like and i used to always tell him the moment it's not fun no more and the moment you're not happy you can always quit and that's it's like true. he loved music and that's what he wanted and he's like he was taking it all the way and i was like well i'm gonna ride with you till the wheels fall off and he wrecked my bins, and one of the wheels did fall off. Ooh. Uh, now, tell us this story. He stole your car one night and pulled up on a girl, or what happened? No, no, honestly. I used to do that. I remember when I stole my mom's car when I was little, and I, we went to the skating rink, me and my oh, brother. No. We was out all night. Like, we was lit. You were bad. <laughs> yeah. No, no, honestly, no, he had permission to drive my car. It was just, uh, Jamil, well, Melly is not the best driver. Hmm. And I don't know what he was trying to do. He said he was trying to merge, but some kind of way he ended he up. He had murder on his mind. Yeah. Wake up in the morning. He was singing a song, probably dancing, swerving. Swerve. Hit the I wrecked wall. my mama's car. I remember when I stole it. it. He was okay. He was fine. And that's the first thing I was like, are you okay? He's like, yeah. And then he showed me the car and I was like, oh. but the car is I was like, as long as you're good, yeah. it can be fixed. Now can Slime, can he drive good? Actually, slime can drive pretty good. Oh, you got skills, fam? No, not for real. I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, I be driving to like. You got a learner's permit? No. Oh, you be riding dirty. <laughs> <laughs> he nope. drives like around like the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, got to train. Like, yeah, yeah, we're practicing. We're practicing. So when it's time for him to take his test, he actually knows how to drive. So he can drive better than Melly. Maybe. My brother can't drive for nothing. My brother Melly wrecked. Can't my drive. brother wrecked two of my cars. <laughs> Shout out to him. I love you, big bro. But you wrecked two of the cars. And you know what I'm talking about. How dare you? So, but what about mom, though? You know, is mom single? Is it hard, like, having two celebrity sons and yeah. being in this entertainment industry for your personal life? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mom is single. Yeah. Is it hard for you to have a relationship with, like, such a fast-paced life and celebrity children and just so much going yeah, on? You got, you starting your... I'm not really looking. You know, my life is in a you know, a place right now where I'm not really focused on looking for a relationship. So, you know, when it comes, it comes. Right now, you know, we just waiting on my son to come home and see what's in the next chapter for us. How is Melly holding up? He's doing really good. He's always in great spirits. So. That was good. You, Free w- Melly! Free, Free Melly, Melly, man. Free Shout out to all the fans back. in the chat, man. Free Melly. 
So do you talk to him often? Mm-hmm. That's dope. Yes, he always calls home, check on me. Then he always, he talks to me for like a few minutes and then he want to talk to his little brother. Like, that's his heart. So he want to talk to his little brother, hear his new music. That's good, y'all real close. Of course. Is it hard? I know it's so hard for you. It is. But, you know, hey, as long as I got God, I'm good. He keeps me strong to get through all of it. Absolutely. You got to keep praying, keep, stay positive. Always. So I got to ask, when he comes home, what's the first thing y'all going to do? Where you going to take him? He don't even know what he want to do yet. He y'all going to go out to eat somewhere, or favorite oh, no, restaurant? No. I cook. Oh, you throw that. Oh, mama I, cook. I cook. <laughs> what I you be cook. cooking? I cook everything. Because we like to eat at the park. We a mommy podcast. We might yeah, have to give mama some mints and throw something down. What's Yo, good? I'll have to cook for y'all one day. You know, my homemade mac and cheese is legendary. Ooh, Everyone knows okay. that. You know, wow. collard greens, mac and cheese, you know, cornbread, baked chicken. And a lot of people, you're making me so and hungry. <laughs> and a lot of people don't know, man. She's like, I cook for real. Like, he gets home cooked meals. Like, breakfast, <laughs> you be over there eating good, man. That's yep. So nice. <laughs> What's the favorite thing mama cook for you? What's your favorite meal? I know what mine is for my mom. The mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, yeah. Mm. Or the turkey burgers. Yeah. In the turkey burgers. I make a mean turkey burger because mm. we don't eat red meat. Or yeah. pork. So, can you make any? Can you make a vegan burger? Cause I'm vegan. <laughs> oh, you are vegan. Can you put one of them impossible things on the thing? Yeah, yeah. I bet you. I, I bet you. I could. I'd be cheating though. I've been cheating with seafood. Y'all do seafood? Yeah. Do you do yeah. salmon or like salmon? And, I love salmon. Yeah. I'm allergic to shellfish. Right. That sucks. Mm. That sucks. What happens? You like break out and get. Yeah. I wish. Oh. No, my throat closes. I go oh, in anaphylactic shock. Like, wow. Oh, snap. Like allergic, allergic. I, I die. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, we don't want you to get none of that. And a lot of people don't know, man. Like, she's just multi. You just do everything. You're a businesswoman. You know, you, you I'm now. Still a nurse. You're a nurse. I see you. I see you. Shout out to all my nurses that. If y'all get. You know, I can't say name my job, but you know who you are. Now, is. guys come in and they need, like, what's it called when they need to, like, breath. CPR. CPR. Do you do CPR on people? Yes. I all y'all, sure. all y'all stalkers <laughs> and that want to get CPR, go to the hospital. You might run into. Bruh. So what's next? What's Bruh, next for you though? Because you got a lot going on. You know, you got your brand, and you know his brand is blown up so big, and sky's the limit. So right now, what's next my for you? focus has been on. Be slime, you know, getting him branded. You know, he's doing his crossover right now. We're doing more pop music. So you guys look out. His new music is amazing. And then me, you know, I want to open up like a med spa. Oh, under that's my, dope. Underneath my nurse's license and everything. She's wanted to do that for years. Yeah. I'm going to finally. What are the med spas? Do they do like injections or is it massages? What is yeah, it? Yeah, all of it. Like everything. I want to do injections. I want to do massages, you know, post-op care. You know, That'll everybody. be good money in Miami. Everybody. Yeah, everybody get their body done. Everybody. Yes. Now, did you get any work done on your body? Not yet. Oh, because your body, you work out a lot? I love it. Okay. And I do yoga. Yeah, you do acro? What kind of yoga you do? I just do meditation yoga. Meditation? Oh, that's dope. Because... Stress is real. So it is. I do meditation yoga, you know, the, just the calming, breathing, stretching. And, and I used to work out a lot. And then the way I started working, because I'm a travel nurse. Mm-hmm. So I'm like on contract. I have to work like all these days, which is retarded. But <laughs> now I see, hold on. I see Slime back here dancing. You be dancing too? You got moves, man? I see you over here turning up a little bit. Nice, because um, my friends are watching the live stream. I want to see you. <laughs> hey, do you dance though? Like, do you be dancing? I used to um a little bit. My friend. we might have to get him to break a little dance move, man. He over there doing some of Mario and joint going <laughs> he actually on. Actually, dance. <laughs> Is it ever too much for you though, man? Like all this fame and like coming so quick. Like does it ever get to be too much, or you lo- or you love it? Crazy. The crazy part is I don't even be paying attention to that type of stuff. I just, you know, me and my brother, the days that he used to not be in school and I used to not be in school, we would just sit there. Turn on the Xbox 360 and just play beats and freestyle over them. Me at my young age, I'm freestyling with my brothers. I said, oh, yeah. He was like 9, 10, freestyling. With That's how brother. I was, yep. So now it's just like, I don't pay attention to the clout, the fame, the money that comes. I just like making music. Like, yeah. It's just been a thing that I've always loved doing. Do people always compare you? Like, is there any competition or as this little brother being Melly's little brother or like has it helped you or hurt you? Or how do you feel like people? With it? 
people have tried to make comparisons to other young artists that are coming up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I never really paid attention to it. I just see it as, okay, they're trying to compare me to these young artists. Let me see who these young artists are so I can take them under my wing, you know, give them some help as well. And a lot of people, man, I don't know, like, he has a unique style. He is doing, he has a sound that, like, people not doing. I was listening to all your tracks. We was over here earlier, like, just going crazy. And it's funny, uh, before we went live, she was talking about how, like, yo, I love your songs. Like, I might know some of your songs better than you. What's your What's your favorite uh, Slime song? Um, um, oh, My favorite? Yeah, what's your favorite? It's On The Way. On The Way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I like when he sing and like get into his feelings. It's so cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, she <laughs> see girls always like to see that soft side. <laughs> Do you think you cater more to the ladies or more to like the fellas or like everybody? Huh? You think you cater my, more like to the ladies or more to like the fellas or everybody? Cater to everybody. Yeah. Everybody who likes my music. <laughs> Try to make it for all them. That's what's up. Now, I got to ask you, if you could do a feature with anyone that you've never worked with, anyone in the rap game, singing game, pop game, any genre, who would you choose for a feature? My dog, Neem Shot. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no. Out of everybody, who would, who would Slime choose? I have three. Okay. We got Travis Scott. Oh, yeah, Travis Gohart. We have next Justin Bieber. Ooh, Justin Go Hard. Third. Dead or alive? <laughs> Third who? We are my dead or alive? Like, is it dead or alive? Like yeah, they matter of fact, fuck it. They can be dead. <laughs> uh, don't see my face. Cause you might can buy a verse too. Cause like even like you can right now, I think you can get a biggie verse or a pop verse. It might cost a lot of money, but he got stash, you know. So depend on if they got a verse, you might can get one. Third artist, Triple X. I would, but it, matter of fact, yeah, yeah. Hey, Triple shout X. out to Triple X. Shout out. Shout out RP. Shout out to Miss Cleo. My boo, I love her. <laughs> so, have you worked? Or are you working with any big name artists on any new projects right now? Or are you just doing your own thing? I just been trying to do my own thing, you know. Yeah, I could work with bigger artists, but I don't want to like, cause then it it makes me seem too commercial. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And like then people I'm, will try to like put all the success on exactly. They'll try to put it all on oh, industry plant mm -hmm. because I, cause I'm not gonna lie, I came out with some pretty big features. I had Lil T J, Trippy Red, my brother. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm trying to hold off. I'm trying to hold off on big features right now mm. and like kind of build my own name so people yeah. aren't just listening to these big feature tracks. Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. Because, yeah, you know, a lot of people, they'll try to, you know, when you got a big feature, they'll be like, oh, the song was only dope because he was on it. But like, nah, he doing numbers by himself. He's doing numbers exactly. by himself. That's, what, that's the main thing I always feel. That's the hardest part. I feel like as a mom with having two superstars, like that's really the hardest part because I want Slime to have his own fan base, his own identity, his own everything. But then there's Melly, who's like this mega superstar. And it's like he automatically like kind of shadows him. Mm -hmm. And then people get that, that stigma like, oh, well, B Slime is only this because of Melly. But B Slime is lit. Yeah. Like Got millions of followers yo, and subscribers. Like, and it's weird because they different. have completely different vibes. Different. He's a singer. Mm -hmm. Melly is a rapper, Melly is a rapper mm -hmm. more, but he can sing as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like apples and oranges, mm -hmm. but they still match well. So, yeah, but it, it's you definitely You have a hard. song called Anti. That is like, I feel like the That's my best. Favorite song. I needed that song so bad. <laughs> like, that song is amazing. Like, I needed it. How like, many songs have you, like, recorded or, like, wrote in your whole life? I'm going to give y'all a secret. Back in 2019, I'm going to give y'all a secret. So, <laughs> shout out to Track. Shout out to Track. Because we in Miami. I'm going to let y'all know something right now. I used to lay down the melodies and track used to help me with the lyrics. So anti track wrote the hook and verse. Yeah. That's what's up. I'm not gonna lie. Track was a huge help to me back then. Damn. So how many son, songs have you, you done? Find this? Um, this year in total. 
like in total, your whole life? How many, if you had to estimate? I know you've been doing this for a long time since so you were like 10 years old. <laughs> Probably only like 150 songs. Only? That's a lot only of songs, like, man. I don't These people be uh, having hour. one, two songs out. <laughs> But it's just like, because... He'll do three, four songs in one night at the studio. Like, complete, like, everything. Hook, verse, what? ad-libs, everything. Wow. Like, and I know major artists that... That's not the doing same, that numbers, yo, those yeah. same studio, and they literally be there for five hours on the same one song. Yeah. And they're like, Slime don't cut three tracks, he done. <laughs> we out. <laughs> so, Slime, I know you focused on your music and everything. I know you ain't think about these girls, but... If you had to choose one celebrity crush, who would you choose? <laughs> it could be anybody. It could be Ariana Grande. It could be Willow Smith. It could be... Um, I'm going to have to go with my dog. Meme shot. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be honest, uh, I don't know. There really isn't. I mean, every girl is above the age of 14 in the rap game. That's that is actually, true. Why aren't there any, like, young female rappers? Because. I don't see any. Aren't there any, like, 13, 14 year olds? You got to think. The OMG girls grew up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember they them. Grown, <laughs> they grew up. They were, like, the only young, like, young girl they group were that I too. knew. Like, and Cheetah Girls. The Cheetah yeah, Girls. Yeah. They, were, they, were, they were, like, 15, 14 when they started. Cheetah he girls, man, they had it on. Like, are they still oh, lit? They still live, or they don't do the show no more? They're, they're alive. They're alive, but they're not even friends with each other. I don't think they talk. Yeah. Raven Simone made that bag, though. <laughs> and still is. Still is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about y'all? Um, who's your celebrity crush? Now, it could be anybody. <laughs> it could be a, a rapper, an athlete, an actor, anyone. And don't say Michael B. Jordan or Drake. All the women say Michael B. Jordan or Drake on the podcast. But you can choose whoever you want. Who would you choose? Floyd Mayweather. I'll let you oh, know. Oh, shit. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Oh, she going for the real bag. <laughs> Shout out to Floyd, man. We got to get you on the show. We had Danny Garcia on the show a couple of days ago. And he said, because, um, you know, he was supposed to fight Floyd. Oh, yeah. And Floyd was, you know, was going to fight him, but it didn't end up happening. But he said he could beat Floyd. So, you know, I'm betting with Floyd. That'll be a crazy He's fight. Hitting. I'm riding for you already. Have you met Floyd? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, actually, yes. At the celebrity basketball game, I did meet him. Like, like I think it was like a year. Was it the swap years. event that we went to? Yeah, I think you were there. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. I I invited you there. What? You came, remember? No, not that event. It was another. Oh, one. a different one. Like, yeah, because yeah, he was playing in the game. He was playing. In oh, you game. play ball? Yeah, he huh? plays basketball. You play ball? I mean, I used to want to take it serious. Not really. Because of this man right here, Ethan. He taught me how to play basketball. Come over here, Ethan, man. You got to give a shout out to the camera. Come over here in the middle, man. Ethan over I know, here. Keep saying Ethan, man. Come in the middle so I can see you. What's up, man? Tell him what's up. Yo, it's your boy, uh, Ethan, a.k.a. ASL Ed, straight from Vera Beach, Florida. How you doing? Oh, my boy, <laughs> Ethan, you got the pearls on. What in the pearls? Or what's up? Yeah. Um, He actually bought them for me out in, what was LA? LA. Yeah. He was in LA. LA. What's up? We were at that store, Traffic. Traffic, yeah. Oh, traffic. Slime, man. I need. Lip. I want some pearls too, fam. Help me out, man. What's up? Now you, you, yeah, I check your peep your page. You be doing a lot of designer. Um, you seeing your Balenciagas in the videos. What's your favorite designer you like? Any designer? Yeah, out of everyone, who's your favorite? Like, does it have to be a top brand designer? It could be anything. It could be anything, but let's say, let's say, like, you were to choose a designer to get an endorsement deal. What top designer would you choose? All right, so I got to give a shout out to my dog, Nikos, first off. Because I've been rocking his brand, Phantom Global, for since 2019. Now, you hold on. You see how slime is? He was in Hollywood. He's shouting out his people. Like, that means he got an eye for, like, up and coming stuff. That's what's up. He ain't Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? And then. He look out for his people. <laughs> if I had to choose a top, top brand designer to um really rock, I would have to go with. Off white, I knew it. Mm. <laughs> he off loves white. off white. Yeah, off white is lit. I don't have any R. off P. white. Virgil. Mm. Yeah, man. R. R. P. Virgil. Virgil. He has a lot of off white, like off white and I would say Balenciaga. You got a couple of pairs of Balenciagas. I got 
No, 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 no. Jamel brought me my first pair. Or Melly. He brought me my first pair when I was like 11. When Virgil came out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, around there actually. Damn, man, my brother ain't never bought me no designer shoes. <laughs> that man used to oh, spoil no. me. I'm not gonna lie, he bought spoiled. me. Spoiled. Are you I spoiled have... by your mom too? Yeah. Raise your hand if you spoiled in the room. Are y'all spoiled, ladies? Mm-hmm. Now, who spoils y'all? Like dudes or like y'all parents? My mom actually spoils. Yeah. Oh, your mom spoils. Yeah, okay. Both. I don't have parents, so dudes and myself. Dudes and yourself? I guess I spoil myself. Yeah. <laughs> I spoil myself too. And my, my boys, they spoil me. They definitely So do. you don't be spoiled by, come on, you be spoiled by some dude out here. No one spoils no, mama. No, bro. Come come with me. Yo, I be calling <laughs> T-Mobile up like, is my phone on? Your phone be dry. be dry. <laughs> yeah. Are you real protective over mama? Let's say mama's like, yo, I got a date tonight. You gonna be like, hold on mama, who is this guy? Are you protective over mom? Yeah. It depends. It depends on where the date is, who the guy is, and what is he doing with his life. Yeah. Because I feel like I'd be the same way. My mom ain't been on a date forever, but if she did, I got to meet this dude. I got to know what's up with him. I got to give my stamp of approval. Are you Googling your mom's dates? (laughs) (laughs) If she getting serious, hell yeah, I'm going to Google them. (laughs) (laughs) I, I think I would. Do not take his advice. No Googling your mom's Background check. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on. So, let's find out from whole room. Raise your hand if you're single. I need to get to the bottom of this. Oh, so everybody's single. Oh, shit. Unfortunately. Oh, you want somebody? Mm-hmm. But oh, you no. said you got dudes spoiling you. I see you got the rolly on. Who bought you that? Oh, I bought this myself. This is pretty old. Okay. I was young. <laughs> Who bought your Apple Watch for you? Uh, actually, my mom, right? Your mom bought it? Okay. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Shout out to mom. I didn't wear my jewelry today. Yeah, I, I see you got some diamonds on. Oh, it's a necklace. That's yeah. a, you know. Floyd Mayweather didn't buy that for you? <laughs> he bought big gifts. <laughs> I wonder like, how it would be like dating Floyd Mayweather. Let's say like he buys you like a $250,000 chain and then y'all break up. Like, Are you going to? Keep the chain, or you gonna cash it out and get that two fifty k? I always wonder because you know a lot of these celebrities be buying these million dollar gifts and stuff. What will you do? A two hundred fifty thousand. Oh, I'm keeping it. I'm gonna wear it. You gonna keep that one? I'm wearing that because if you try to pawn it off, you're not gonna get the same money. Yeah, because once you bust down the chain, it loses value. Like, mm-hmm. and yeah. it's same thing with Rolexes. When you bust them down, they they're not the same. It's actually better to keep them not bust down. Yeah, and keep their value better. Yeah, that's that's awesome. facts. So, yeah, two hundred fifty thousand. That factory. I'm wearing that. Mm-hmm. Sentimental value. Sentimental. What's the most expensive gift a guy's ever bought you? What a guy. Mm-hmm. I don't, my son buy me gifts like. Yeah, it don't gotta be. It don't gotta be a guy. It could be anybody. <laughs> What's the best gift you've ever received from anybody? Your son, your Melly friend. Melly bought me a bust down Rolex with the blue face hey, for my birthday. Shout and, out to Melly. And the necklace that I'm wearing, you know, the BBS hey. necklace. And yeah, Melly spoils his mama. And you be spoiling him. Nah, see, he got that ice on. What's that watch you got on? Is that you know, the Rolly? This watch is crazy. Show him the Rolly gang. Show him the Rolly. Uh oh, don't blind him, don't blind him. He got more ice than like green diamonds and stuff. Look now, did mom buy you that or you bought it for yourself? I actually bought it for myself. Okay. My brother, when I first started off, he gave me this chain. I think, yeah. I see. The, the Cubans are mine, but he gave me the actual pendant. Cause this, this was his pendant. So, yep. Do you have to like walk around with security? Because like everybody know you now. I don't be wanting to. I, I barely do for real. It's just this woman, so uh, you gotta be careful. You gotta go everywhere. She 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 should. Security. I'm like, yeah. Mom, I'm just we, going to the store. But <laughs> we go to the stores. And so you'll like go like, to Walmart by yourself. Yeah. And it'd be cool. Okay. Well, not by yourself with me. With you, yeah. yeah. Do people be running up, like asking for pictures and stuff? Do you ever get annoyed at taking pictures, or are you cool with it? It's whatever. I like playing with them though. They be like. Are you are you be slime? Like, You're like, nah. Nah. He always <laughs> says no. And they be so stuck and then it's like, you know, when you see them do this. 
They were like, this is you. Then they be looking up, holding the phone up, like, that looks just like you. You sure? You sure it's not you? He's like, nah. That ain't me. Maybe with a straight face. He really, with a straight face, tell these people no, that he's not be signed. You said YSL Beeline? What about y'all? What's what's your celebrity crush? Uh, I'm gonna say Jason Moa. Wait, who's Jason Moa? He's like Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah. Oh, you went to the Aquaman movie. <laughs> oh, that's one with the tribal tattoos. Yeah, that was married. Oh, to you know him? Oh, yes. Lisa Bonet. Yeah, Lisa Bonet. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Right. You like him? Yeah. So cool. I don't, I don't, I don't like know him. who he is. Uh. He's gorgeous. What about you? Who your celebrity crush? Mm, I don't think I have one. I don't like celebrities. Mm. Why the fuck you lie? Why you always lie? Oh my god! Stop <laughs> fucking lying! <laughs> Celebrity crush. Um, <laughs> say it. Well, YMW Melly. It's a tie between YMW Melly. <laughs> hey, it's we got the right cap. girl in here tonight. No cap in her rap. <sighs> God, I'm Is it between IMW Melly or Slime? He's a baby. I'm oh, not going no. to jail. All right, but look, if Slime was 18. No, nope. we ain't doing that because that means he got to anyway. come in our house. Be honest. If Slime oh. was 18, would you try to shoot your shot? Be of honest. Of course. And then he's hey. so sweet. I thought he was going to be like a little Hollywood. Yeah. But he's yeah. so sweet. No. <laughs> but he was nah, mama raised him right. He's been around me for mm-hmm. what? And Hollywood. shit, one thing about her too, because I've been around her for a while, man. She's such a humble, like, sweet beautiful intelligent businesswoman too like she's a nurse she's handling business she's doing a lot yeah. you're so blessed to have such a wonderful mom and i can tell man like you're a humble guy too man like you you're so focused mm-hmm. but what's next for you man musically like what's on the horizon for you musically what what's next for you <coughs> um got album dropping uh oh when it's coming out april 1st is the plant date Depending on if these agreements get signed. I'm trying to pull time. up to that release party. When the release party going to be at? <laughs> I will keep you posted. I'm hey. definitely going to do an album release party for Beast Slime. You know. Hey. So look out for your invites. Hey. And now, what's the new single you're going to be dropping off the album? He got a bunch of them. Look. Um, we need to put his joint on. Um, we need to put a re- one of your new records on. Do I'll say Oreo. Oreos. Ooh. Oreos. Ooh. That's a banger. I want to see you drop a little Oreos premiere, y'all. What? What? You down for a little premiere Oreos premiere? What do you? What do you think, ladies? Y'all want to hear it? Yeah, yeah. She's like, yes. Then she's taking a <laughs> sip. Yeah, let's put that joint on. You want to rap to it, sing to it a little bit? I love you. Just want to listen to it. This song. I like so this. Love is such a touchy subject. Just know I still love you. I like this. You told me that you let me quit playing around. You told me that you let me quit playing around. No, can't forget it. You left me alone. Now it's gonna Y'all gotta turn up to this. Fire man. Okay. Hey yo, round of applause for B Slime, new record. Yo, I know that video exclusive on the We and Mommy podcast, the one and only. First I know that video gonna, premiere. I know that video gonna be crazy too. Crazy. Uh Melly had gave me an idea for it. What's the idea? I showed him the song and he was like, You should be on an Oreo. Right? Mm. And I should be singing and like rolling the Oreos. Can we get an Oreo endorsement deal for him? Oreos. Oreos, can you please hit this Oreo. man up? Yo. That's a that's a crazy deal. Like, oh, we gotta get him an Oreo milk, deal. Like him on like milk. You know how like they have like yes. milk thing, like him like floating and like that's, a that's some Oreo. next level, that's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. With the graphics. Bro, Melly screen. is like a genius when it comes to like visualizing videos. Like, do you know since he's been in jail, like he's really like directed most of his videos are you serious like 
Yeah, for real. Wow. For real. I actually like, did two, the two, video. That met video was crazy with the puppet. Yo, right? I was the lead girl. That video okay, was crazy. Girl. Wait, for what video? City, City girls. girls. Oh, dope, yeah, dope. That was crazy. And he was now, where the, all my city girls at? Hey, hey city girls, girls Miami, where all the girls down. <laughs> that was a good edit. Does Melly have a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Look, she like. Let me take a shot of this. She probably know for real. Let me take <laughs> a shot. She knows. Tag, every, I mean, nope. she probably knows everything. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep my mouth oh, my not It's hard finding love in Miami, man. Right? Even for like people who aren't celebrities or <laughs> no, <Nah. laughs> it's hard for everybody to find love. Have you ever like loved a girl, Slim? Um, no, never. <laughs> no. Nope. You ever thought you loved a girl or nothing? Huh? You ever thought you loved a girl? No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Man, the love savage doesn't exist in females. Oh, you know, you know mom, I gotta do better. Unless you're a mother, <laughs> I'm teaching my son the same thing: love no <laughs> one but if your you mother. Think, <laughs> if you think right, let me let me tell you the truth. Okay. The reason why love doesn't exist in females unless you're a mother is because girls can hit you with. Look, the girl hitting him right now. Look, no, I'm playing. <laughs> girls can hit you with the trust. You're the only guy I'm talking to. Nine times out of ten, she's talking to thirteen other guys. If y'all aren't in a close relationship, men not doing the same. Yo, thing. this guy is smarter okay, than no most thirty-year-olds. Yeah, he there's already no knows the game. Me. You <laughs> taught him the game early. I definitely taught him the game early. A girl would be telling you, "I love you. You're the only one. I want to be with you." I I've been through this recently exactly. in Miami. <laughs> I had an ex-girlfriend. She was running all this game with me, like, "I love you. I want to marry you. I want to have your oh, kid. Shit. I want this, bruh." It goes Meanwhile, like she is. turned she she outside. <laughs> I'm like, look, if you want to be outside, just tell me. Like, we, you know what I mean. But don't be feeding me exactly. something. Exactly. And that's why I tell people: if you just be honest with people, tell people what you really what want. What your intentions are. What your intentions are. Even if you a dude and you just want to sleep with a girl, let her know. Don't sell her a dream and then lie to her. That's not player. Like, be that's honest about player. everything. That's not play. That's like not pee. That's not like that. pee. One thing about this one. He's gonna know, like he don't play. He's gonna be very like honest and upfront with people, like. And then he also is a divorce kid because me and his dad was married fifteen years. Oh wow! So how long have you been single? That's love. I've been divorced or for, divorced. I've been divorced for a year, but we was separated for four years mm. before we got the actual divorce. So it's like his. Okay. I kind of feel like his view on love is gonna be different because he watched me be an amazing mom and an amazing wife and everything, and still. It fell apart. Mm. So it's like he's gonna always have his questions in the back of his head. Like, is you being real to me? Is you lying to me? Is you playing with me? Don't play with me. Does Jamie King <laughs> get lonely? Mm. Yeah. Sometimes. I mean, I understand why. I mean, I be getting busy. Or I go hang <laughs> out with my friends. And you holding it down, bro. You holding it down. I can tell you hold it down, man. I, I got a Yorkie now. Oh, you got a puppy to cuddle with. Teen Yorkie mom. She's horrible. She's a demon spawn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I got the wrong dog. Now, your last name is Demons, right? It used to be. Oh, you changed it? When I got married. Oh. But I'm going to change it back. So you're a real demon. <laughs> Bro, I'm an angel. What are you talking about? Like, so your last name, Demons. Everyone in the family, no, Demons. King, because I was married. Oh. I was married to his dad. So your real last name, King. He's really King, and I'm King. Like, real shit. Oh, wow. His real name is King. That sounds fake. Like, you know, like Jamie Foxx, like he created his name. No, but, like, I'm really Like, King Jamie is dope. King. I wish my last name was King. That's some ball shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's really a King. He's a young King. That's what's up, man. We got him in the right throne chair. I, I need to, I feel like I want to switch spots with you. <laughs> like, you the Queen. Can I switch spots with you? I want to give you the King chair. Come on. You the first it. person I ever gave my chair up to. <laughs> I want to switch with you because you're the queen. Come over here and get this chair. I'm going to change with you. I know. I'll be the person that like, has like, the great thing. I'm going to switch his seat in the middle of the room. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I'm in the king chair. Look, you can just hold it if it's easier. Okay, hold on. Let me put this thing. I'm switching. So now we got the king. That's we got the young king, and we got the queen in the building. I feel so special. I'm in the fancy Yeah, we're giving it up. Now, 
What What about your father, like your dad? Was he always supportive with your ambitions, or has it just been really mom? Uh, this is about to cause problems. But, um, <laughs> your dad is he What do you say? Um, my dad loves me. Um, he didn't want me making music because he thought I was going to be a rapper like my brother. Talk about guns and violence. I mean, he wanted me to play sports. He wanted me to play basketball and football. So when I just switched to music, all of a sudden, it was like a, uh, all right, I still support you, but I wanted you to play sports. Mm. So when he saw you blow up, was it like a burst of support or was it more like I knew you was going to make it? Um, he didn't really pay attention to my career until Slime Dreams started doing good. Then he came out, started showing support. That's what's up. I never had a dad, man. I always wish I like had a dad or like my mom was always supportive, though, of my career, even like like how you are. I'm the mama and the daddy, period. That's what's up. You mama and daddy. Now, who are your biggest influences besides your big brother? X. Triple X. Yeah. And shout out to Triple X, man. The number one streamed artist of Spotify all time. Y'all heard about that? I don't think people understand how big that is. Yo, your son is a legend on top of legend like that. Nobody is going to be able to break this voice. Nobody. Nobody can break his voice. And I don't think people understand what that means. Like, the number one streamed artist of all time on Spotify, that means he beat Madonna. Like, he beat Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, bro. Like, Like, it's different. Like, it's levels. Like, that's crazy. This is like levels that people really cannot achieve. Like, he achieved it. It's amazing. So what about y'all ladies? Who's who's your favorite artist like in the game besides Slime and Melly? Um, <laughs> I love Cardi B. Cardi B? Yeah. Shout out to Cardi. She lit. Yeah. What about you? Um, I don't know. Summer Walker. She an artist? Yeah, she an artist. Oh, yeah. Summer Walker. Don't yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm thinking of her as a model. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Cause she models too, right? I was no. just no, no. Okay, She's shout out to someone. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> she models. I'm fine. fucking no. Yeah, she she dope. What about you? Is it like Justin Timberlake or somebody? <laughs> 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 Who your favorite actor? It's gonna be like Jackie Chan or somebody. Who you like? I love fucking Jackie Chan. That's my nigga. Why he don't be making movies no more? Remember Jackie? He's That's that. Old. He older now, bro. He don't kick the same no more. This man really used to do his own stunts. And like, he really was doing real really shit. Really doing yeah. some crazy shit. Like, mm-hmm. he tired. Let what about Slime, rest. though? I like to get you see you in some acting, man. Would you do any acting or you, that's not really a thing? Like, what else do you want to get into or that you're working on besides music? Is there anything else you're interested in besides music? Video games? Yo, why don't you get him to be a character like I on a video game? You should, should get a video, video game deal. Um... First of all, I'm gonna give a shout out to Fortnite. Fortnite probably owes don't me say about nothing. thirty thousand yeah. dollars. Shout out to Fortnite. Real talk. They owe y'all some money. Money. Damn. Oh, me no, and Melly. Getting on teams. So Fortnite need to give him his own skin at this point. <laughs> at this point, if they do it like an account, does yeah. he spent the most money on Fortnite? How much you think he spent on Fortnite? <laughs> So how much you think you spent on Fortnite? Like, in Back total. in 2018, when my brother came up, I took his card and I spent at least 10 bands. Damn. I was in like on a oh, video shit. game. That was in like the span yeah. of a month. Everybody always makes fun of me for that. Like they'd be like, "You stole your brother's credit card and took V bucks, oh, bro." Yeah. I never told them like, <laughs> like the exact amount. It was like 10 bands. Wow. When I started, did he get mad or he didn't care? He didn't care. He just was like. You can't use my card anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good brother. If I spent 10 bands on my brother's card, but it's one it'd thing, kill me. You know what? It's one thing to spend 10 bands on like shoes and clothes, but it's mm-hmm. like it's a virtual video game. It's a like, game, yeah. What are you getting? Like, you can't physically like do nothing with any of this stuff. Have y'all ever like seen like played around with the metaverse? You got the. I yeah, I got, a, I got an Oculus. You got an Oculus. Mm-hmm. What do you think about the metaverse? Like it? Yeah, it's crazy. Do y'all really think like that's gonna be the next wave? Like in the next year or two, like it's gonna go crazy and no. everyone's gonna be living yeah. in it? No. Not so soon. Maybe well, like we're I wouldn't say right everybody because the thing is if you got any neurological problems, you cannot enter the metaverse. 
Like, oh, really? Uh, no, you can't. Oh. With the Oculus and all the virtual things and like, it's like too much for you. Like, if you, you got up. epilepsy or anything like that. Look I got me, motion look sickness. Me, look at me being a nurse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm about to break it down for you real quick. Like, why you cannot? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I. I got motion can't. sickness. Will I get dizzy in there? You might. You actually yeah. might. <laughs> I got mines. I'll bring it. You know, like on boats and stuff, people and get dizzy. Ever, I'm that dude. If you ever had a concussion, you can't. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Like, I can't because I had a concussion from my car accident. Me too. That's and I mean. tried to do, like, the virtual thing, and I got so dizzy and nauseous. Like, I couldn't stand up. It was really, really bad. <laughs> He's oh laughing God. because he remembers that day. It was so bad. <laughs> Y'all ever been to the metaverse? Yeah. You know, they... Yeah, you know, a lot of people are doing their own concerts now in the metaverse. That might be dope to do like a slime release party and metaverse edition Ooh, too. That would be dope. Yeah. yeah, I know some people doing that. Um, setting Travis that up. Scott Fortnite event. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. What are your views yeah, on the Travis Scott that. situation, man? Shout out to him. Travis Scott Fortnite event. But what do you think about the whole, you know, tragedy that happened with Travis Scott? What are your views on that? I mean, that whole situation, people didn't really have anybody to pinpoint it on. So I think he just kind of got blamed for he it because he's an artist. Because he's an artist and he was like his face is on it. But it's really the um, who who um got the venue for him and got the security. It's like the venue's fault. It's Live Nation. It's Live Nation's fault for not having like it's like the venue. Yeah. Cause I mean, you got to think about it, man. When you performing on stage, I know everybody was like he was looking, but you like like even in the studio, we had these bright lights right here. But let's say ten times that, and we on stage rapping, and there's people back there, shit happening. You don't be knowing what's going on down there. We perform at Rolling Loud and cannot see what is going on. Past you just see the bright lights, row. like past Imagine. that third. Yeah, row, you really, you really cannot see because the lights is so bright. Yeah, and then it's everybody has their cell phones out with lights. You really can't see. Like, shout out to Travis Scott. Shout out to Travis. Shout out to Travis. And his new he baby. Gonna, <laughs> they're gonna overcome it. It's they crazy. Gonna overcome it's, it. it's, it's crazy. It's, they blame it's him crazy. for all It's crazy. No, it's crazy yeah. because the situation kind of already passed over. Pretty like much. nobody. People not really thinking about it no more. Yeah. I think what do you think about great. Travis and Kylie? You think they're gonna last? Think they make a good couple? They've been together for like four or five years. It has been a minute. Don't time go by? They just had. So they on the second child. They on the second child. Wow! Shout out to them, man. It's gonna last because they keep it private. Mm -hmm. They do. They mm -hmm. keep it very we private. We wouldn't know if he cheated or not. You'll never so. know. No one will ever know. I miss Kanye private. and Kim, man. I thought they was cute, bro. Y'all <laughs> don't miss them. Kanye and Kim. Then the one that cute. Kim I thought I they was gonna last, man. Kim what happened? There was I awkward. want them to get back together, man. I was just man. gonna say, so you don't think like it's no way possible, like she over over it? I do. I know it's messed up, I, but it I, feel like she over it, over it. But I hope she got a change of heart because they was cute to me. I feel like if they were, I feel like Kanye uh, really loved them and them kids. Yo, when you over something, you over it. Like I said, I was married 15 years and I walked away and never looked back. I left mm. him. I never looked back. I don't Real. think Kim mm. over Women it, is different. Do you think that you're scarred? Who, me? From your past relationships? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you have trust issues now? Yep. Are you working towards them? Like you want to stay like that? Or? No, no, no. I'm working towards them. Like, you know, like, like I said, like I do my yoga, I do my meditation mm -hmm. and I did like the little counseling things and yeah. everything, but I feel like it's very hard to trust a man. Once you've been had that. Once that, you've had the yeah. experience like that I've had, it's different. It's different when you marry someone and you expect like something to be like your forever and it's not. What does it feel like to be married? I always wonder because like I've never been married and I always was like. <laughs> I want to get married. Like, I want to have a right family person? and get married. Like, what does it feel like? When you marry the right person, it's amazing. So when we, when I first got married, it was like marrying my best friend. Mm. And we did everything together. We was lit together. Like, like, it's cool. Like, when you marry someone, make sure they're your best friend before you mm. get married. Best friend first, for sure. Real shit. Like, he was really my best friend. Like, we would go out to the clubs together, everything, hang out. Mm. But. I think one of the main things is when you get with someone or like be in a relationship is finding somebody that you can like be yourself around. 
Exactly. Because that's like the most thing, like someone you can like really be your hundred percent self. Yeah. There's some people you just don't feel comfortable. Like if you especially don't feel for comfortable, girls, don't like y'all gotta it. go through a lot. Like y'all be like, Oh, if I do this or show this or like that, he might think this of me. It's hard finding someone that won't judge you. Not me. I don't, don't give care. a shit. You get me. <laughs> I would show up on a date, no makeup, no nothing, no lashes. See, that's how you should be though. Let them see the real you. Like, this is me. Like real talk. Like normally on a first date, I don't wear makeup. So you don't go all out. Mm mm. Shit me. <laughs> First impression. Look, she probably be in the mirror like three hours right, getting after, ready. Like, you know, we get to know each other. Oh, now you're going to get the real me and you stuck. <laughs> I mean, it's All right, so at how long before you show them the real you? <laughs> <laughs> Because I know the first few days, you're going not. You gonna be quiet as hell and what? hold all that like, shit in, all your toxicness. You mm. <laughs> so I'm like, uh-uh, we finna eat. <laughs> you ain't oh, eating no food. I'm eating on the first date. No, I'm eating, but then I'm, I'm you know. You're taking it easy. <laughs> no, nah, me, let me get, let me get that appetizer. Second date, let me get all that. that. Now, nah, y'all the type, like, the first date, are y'all gonna, like, ball out on the menu, like, test him a little bit, see no. if he'll spin that check? I let a man order for me. Nah, shit. So what you be like? I don't know what I want. You order. You ain't never let me. Are you? You look like you gonna try to order some expensive ass shit just to try. I'm gonna crab legs. I can afford, I can <laughs> legs, I can afford whatever I want. So if I see something I want, and if I want two of two, and then I'm gonna get <laughs> two of two. <laughs> So, I was doing an episode the other day, and uh, we asked with, with Danny Garcia, and we asked the ladies and everyone like, and Danny was like, "Yeah, we take you like." to somewhere like Denny's or like Wendy's and she'd be like nah and one girl was like you ain't no real man if you take me to Wendy's how would you feel about like a dude taking you to like Wendy's or Denny's like is that a no like what does Jamie King require wait 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 wait. first of all (laughs) is it a first date or we already been kicking it it's like some late night stuff um yeah, because that is a big that is a big difference though. So, okay, Cause first right. day you can't so, take nobody to Wendy's exactly. on the first day. So if it's a first, even day, like if you a bum, you, know, you got to do something. You got to do better. I mean, you could at least do chilies. If yeah, you're broke, like, like chilies. Ah, yeah. Dang, Wendy's <laughs> chilies. Nah, it's a new what about day. Applebee's? The two for two. Yeah, Danny know. said the two for two with Apple. <laughs> I'd rather you cook. Is that not that a good bad. look? I mean, a two get that, for get two. that soup a, kitchen food, bro. A two for two is better than fucking Wendy's. A four for four. A four for four. A fo- 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 has that ever happened date? to you has that ever happened that's to you that's horrible has it like you meet a guy and like he try to take it you to somewhere cheap and he being all cheap absolutely not a man offered like you hungry first of you all, mcdonald's first of all no. i feel like one most people know already know like who i am and who my sons is so they don't come at me like that so they know like yo i gotta come correct come correct steak don't no come don't i don't eat steak oh yeah you know what's so funny? they got vegan steak yo you know what's so funny though <laughs> It's like, even though like I like nice things, I'm still a cheap date. Yeah. I'm allergic to shellfish. I can't order lobster. <laughs> I can't order scallops. I can't order none of that. And then I don't eat red meat, so I'm not about to get no Wagyu steak or none of that. Like, <laughs> literally, I'm getting chicken or fish. So really, <laughs> I mean, really, it's only so much that can cost. Uh, even a fancy restaurant. Like me, I'm vegan. I can go to a five-star restaurant in Miami, and this shit cheap for me because I ain't going to get nothing but vegetables, vegetables, asparagus. It's only so much they can charge for that. I mean, yep. She I'm said, always <laughs> I'm always cheap, like without trying to be, just because, just because well, between my allergies I and my diet. Make it up in alcohol. Get your drinks. Thanks. So I, would Jamie King be open to meeting someone and going on a date? Absolutely. A slime approve of that? Should try like speed dating. What a slime think of that? It's a no for him. Slime like <laughs> he gave that evil look like hell no, <laughs> hell no, play the hell no sound. <laughs> Oh hell no! Oh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. Still we good no. on that? No. no. I'm glad that you're a Persian, man. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I lost my virginity. I was I was actually younger than him. Damn. And man, like, I wish I could. Sometimes you ever wish like you could be a virgin again. Okay, you know what I mean? Like, great. just take I, back everybody. I was, a, I was a mom at his age. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Was the guy a lot older or he was young? No, too? we're same age. Okay. Same age. Now, do you like older or younger? Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm at a weird age. So I'm like, where it's like you could go either way kind of age. I could date the son or the daddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Yo, that's real. It's like once you get it's a, like an age where you could like either date the son or the dad. So, what's the oldest you would go? 
We won't judge you. The oldest I'll go. If you say like 70, we won't judge you. 65. Okay. <laughs> 65. That's, Granddad. That's, that's the, and that's what's the, the youngest? The youngest? 30. 30, okay. The youngest okay. is 30. The oldest, definitely 65. But you got to be like an inch. You got to be like a young like 65. A young 65. Like a Denzel or some yeah, shit. Yeah, you got to be like a young 65. You work <laughs> out. You got it, you know. Yeah. You know, Get young you know, 65. Shout out to that pension plan. He got like 10 years left. <laughs> <laughs> 10 years left. What about y'all? What's the oldest y'all would go? Y'all got any sugar daddies over here? Probably like 50 or 40. Yeah. 50. Now you oh, said you had a sugar said, daddy? I did. Now how old was your sugar daddy? Um, He was actually 72. Damn, he was 72. That's Round of applause for her. In my so defense. She went for that bag. I never saw him. So what you mean you never saw him? How are you I a sugar daddy if you never saw him? I never saw him. Amazing. What? I just my sugar daddy got like my money. So that's pushing What about you? Ask for pictures. The oldest I've dated is 42. Okay, that's not bad. Now, Slime, I know I know you focus and everything, but would you be cool with Slime dating an older girl? Or you got a cutoff like you can't go over 16? <laughs> like, what's the oldest mm-hmm. you would be cool with him dating? 16. Oh, no. <laughs> she says 16. Mm-hmm. So what if he met a nice girl? She was like 27. Damn. Oh, damn. But then it's like, yo, you trying to take advantage of my son. I'm going to fight you. <laughs> As you should. I'm going to fight you. Because yeah. <laughs> that's like low-key illegal too. Like. It, no, it's not low-key. It's high-key It's high-key, yeah. But, what do you, you know, want from... <laughs> I am in security, so... <laughs> well, what about... Okay, so legal would be... <laughs> So legal would be max 17 for him. Legally, 17 would be the max. Okay. But so you would be in, cool with 17. No, in mommy's eyes, 16 mm-hmm. is that's. Because why a 17 year old girl want to date a 14 year old guy? It's for like, clout, you know what I'm saying? Clearly. And like, how would he know if she like him for clout or like, like him for him? Because I'm wise. I trust him. You can peep it. He can peep it. That's why he don't date because like he went to he he's not always been homeschooled. He went to regular school. He got he's too been, crazy though. He got regular. crazy and then we had and his schedule got crazy, so we put him in homeschool, right? So he already know like he like peep that junk. He been going through it since what sixth grade? Yeah, yeah. Because you gotta remember, Melly used to take him everywhere. This boy was ten or eleven. Uh, he was at outside. Rolling Loud, like at Rolling Loud, yeah, at clubs, at everywhere, like with his brother, everywhere. Wow. He took him everywhere. I literally had to call Melly, like, can I, can I, can I get my son back? <laughs> can I have him back? <laughs> he used to have him everywhere. He loved him. He loves him so much. That's good. So he real supportive of your career. Yeah. He wanted me to do this. Not at this age, though, that I'm at. He wanted me to be. He wanted me to be a kid. To like sixteen, like sixteen around there, and then he wanted me to come out with my my first couple singles. But you know, the God and life put stuff together, and I end up rapping at a young age. Do you get haters? Do a lot of people hate on you. Not that I see. <laughs> Actually, see no, mostly my, love. My friends are my biggest haters for real. Again. <laughs> that's you know, nah, for real. That's how it is. Sometimes it'd be the one closest to you that be secretly hating on you because they're the ones that's around you, so they hate more. Yeah. You know, strangers love you. You, you know? know what? Honestly, I feel like in the industry, slime is like everyone's little brother, mm-hmm. and hey. they just give him mad stra- love. That one the bottle. Drunk. So everyone gives him mad love. Yeah. Mad love. That's what's up. It's a lot of haters out here, man. You know, a lot of people don't want to see someone come up and make it. You know, mm-hmm. like I don't know, man. Just let someone live. You know what I'm saying? I feel like slime is. Literally Why are you the looking at it like that? You're like, like, what is that? Coffee? <laughs> that, <laughs> that look weird. <laughs> I was like, he I looked real I disturbed. I never seen that. I brand. thought it was like cognac. Shout out to Sovereign Brands, Lil Wayne, man, Bamboo. Ooh, that's that's not <laughs> so slime, what other advice would you give young guys watching who might be wanting to get in the game or be an artist? What advice would you give them? What do they need to do? Like, how does someone blow up like you did? I mean, I kind of had it easy. I had it really easy because of my brother. But watching my brother come up, all I can tell you is 
you're gonna make some good music you're gonna make some bad music you're gonna make some mid music but don't look at it that way look at every piece of art or craft that you make your mood for the day and even if you think it's your worst song it could be somebody's best song you get that that's how it be it'd be like the song you least suspect yeah. that go crazy right exactly did that happen to you? Like you recorded some crazy songs slime and then Slime Dreams. I wasn't expecting Slime Dreams. I thought Slime Dreams was just gonna be like a uh, because the song wasn't that good to me at least. Like, Is that your biggest record? Yeah. So you wouldn't you wasn't even really caring about it like that. No, I just thought it was just gonna be like a little drop to get me a little clout. Cause and it just went crazy. It, it went dumb. So it's like your worst piece of your worst piece of art that day could be somebody's best piece of art. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Look at like look at everything that you do as a next move to your career. I mean, look, I don't like doing TikTok, but I've also watched a lot of artists come up off of TikTok. So Yeah, people be TikTok. blowing up on TikTok. We had the Sandra twins the other day. They had like four million followers on TikTok. They were going crazy on there. A lot of people like moved away from Instagram and went to TikTok. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Because I guess Instagram, like, Instagram three, four years ago was crazy. Instagram now it's not the same into, no more. Instagram turned into Facebook. Mm. Like, yeah. It's, it's not as cool as it used to be. Mm. And a lot of the big creators of Instagram end up moving to TikTok. Mm. That's why Instagram is like the new Facebook now. Because everybody, like, moved over. I think maybe because TikTok is allowing more growth. Exactly. Instagram is just turning into straight ads. They it's a commercial. Yeah. They want Instagram you to buy is ads. Trying to monetize. Yeah, that's just all about monetization. They change the algorithm. Everything's weird now, you know. Yeah, that's why nobody's on Instagram anymore. You yeah. know, what keeps you motivated? Tiana, she's making my brother proud. Like, you know, he always wanted me to rap, so. Him seeing what I'm doing out here without his help for real, it really, like, motivates him to keep going. And he always says he's proud of me. So I want to, like, make him genuinely proud of me. That's what's up, man. That's why I make music. You talk to him a lot? Here and there. You know, he's in jail, so I can't really. Is he in, in, in Miami or another state? He's in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, I was one of those strippers twerking outside the jail too. You were? Wait, you was twerking outside? <laughs> Wait, what happened now? Hello, tell us the story. We look for it. I mean, Mom. basically. Yes. Did you know she was one of the strippers twerking outside the jail? Basically, yeah. the. Um, Wait, you was outside of Melly's jail? Yeah, they had it like. Oh twice. shit! Hold on, this is a world premiere right here. <laughs> they did it twice. It really wasn't the story. It was just a a, a group of girls, you know, by the word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Y'all come, we got ones. We um, mm -hmm. that's it. It was really quick. It wasn't nothing like. But when you say outside of the no jail, crazy. what do you mean exactly? Um, like the, where? So basically, <laughs> like the so window when niggas was looking out yeah, or yeah, what yeah, happened? Yeah, you can hear them. <laughs> boop, 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 and they could see you. And y'all was in the street or where no, were you? No, we was on top on of the, the garage. Top, like garage yeah. What? It was his birthday. I'm his mama. I'm yeah. supposed to make him turn up. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Shout out. Wait, so how was, how was this set up? Like, who set this up? It was um, Kitty on Demand through other girls, but just word of mouth for me just to come out. That's crazy. I had no idea. This is the perfect setup. You love <laughs> yeah. Melly and Slime. You was dancing outside of... Like this is a perfect I setup. A Melly I didn't was even know. really in his window. Melly was really in his window. You like could really see yeah. him. Yeah, night had a white shirt on. Melly was that. looking at you dance in the window when yeah, you here right now. Crazy. Like this is crazy. Was Isn't that crazy <laughs> coincidence? I, I had no idea. COVID. You can't make it this shit up. During the pandemic. Yo, yeah. real talk. That shit made the shade room, the <laughs> local news, and everything. Yo, right. I got like between I, like, yeah, I got that. people loved and hated me like it was like people like oh my god and then there was other people like and it was if my dirty. mama ain't like her <laughs> i don't wanna <laughs> can girls like send like guys nudes in jail no kind of or do but they not you gotta no. know the lines it can't be so all the way nude no you can send like your panties maybe i think that's messed well, up I why don't they let you send nudes it may be nudes? different from stupid? like prison and regular jail though so. it's the county the county yeah. has like right now the county doesn't even allow like um 
nothing but postcards. Mm. Oh. So wow. he can't even get pictures anymore unless we take the pictures and turn them into like an actual postcard and send it. Wow. Like, oh are you serious? No, I'm dead serious. Like the, the That's county, whack. like You're all the county what? jails are like that now. That's crazy. Because I used to send him like, so I would buy like seven cards mm -hmm. and. I would label them like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Aww. Saturday, Sunday Aww. for him to open a card like every day. Like it'd be like thinking of you, then like just little cards. And his grandma does the same thing. And she's like so sad. She's like, all my cards got returned. Aww. And you telling me they not letting you get cards no more? No cards, only postcards, which is trash because yeah, no one really has postcards mm -hmm. and they're all ugly. So what about emails and stuff? They're not doing that either. Like no, no, that's jail. And I mean, oh, not jail, yeah. prison. Federal, prison. Prison. Federal, yeah, because right. he's he's just in the county. Because he about to come home, free Melly. Free yes, Melly. Free Melly. <laughs> Yo, Melly come home. It's gonna be like the city is gonna be on. Mm -hmm. He loves Miami. It's too. about to go crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be screaming like I just got out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> and now Melly is from Miami, right? No, we're from actually we're from Vero Beach, seven seven two. Where is that at? Like it's north? north, it's north. Like past Boynton. Yep. But would you consider him like the king of Miami or prince of Miami, or South Florida? South Florida, absolutely. That's what's up. Absolutely. So, and you are the new prince of South Florida. <laughs> I still get that spot to my brother because I'm still coming up. You know. You real humble, man. I like that about you. Too humble. We'll call him the Duke. Yeah. <laughs> the Duke. <laughs> That's what my mom called me, the Duke. Really? Yeah. I can see that. You yeah. definitely got that little royalty vibe. Because I got a big brother, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you're the Duke. Yeah. And we was the same way because, you know, we would be making beats. We always been in entertainment. I had studios before and I owned clubs before in Atlanta. I did a lot of stuff and. Me and my brother, we, we always kind of grew up together how you and him did. So that's real dope. How many years apart are you and your brother? Like five. Well, now, how many years apart are you? Nine. Yeah. No way. Nine? Damn. Starting so wait, over. Melly's like what, 23, 24? He's about to be 23. Okay. He's 14. When's his birthday? May? May 1st. May 1st. Yeah. Oh, that's coming up. Mine is June in June. June what? Fifth. We gonna do the birthday turn up? Absolutely. I'm trying to do the birthday turn up. I'm trying Yo, to get Slime you know, to pull up to the birthday, man. Yo, Let's you know it, who man. you gotta have pull up to your birthday? Who? Drew. His birthday is June first. You lying? Drew okay. filmed it. Shout out to my son. Drew filmed it. I miss you. Hey. Drew now wait, Drew is your other son? Come on. Drew filmed it. The you said that's your son? Boy. He's like my son. Yeah. He oh, just, like your son? Okay. Well, he is my son. Like, wait. He is my son. He just light skin. <laughs> okay. Shout out to Drew, man. We got to get you on the show. Nah, but I mean, I don't know, man. Birthdays are cool. They just It's just not the same no more. I don't really even care about birthdays no more. No? Is this still a big deal to y'all? My birthday's it's a holiday. It's kind of a big deal. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. She's like, I'm serious. Like, is, no it, is it like <laughs> actually like on a holiday? or? You yeah, just... I'm a New Year's baby. But she said that. Guess what? <laughs> Your birthday on a New Year's? Yeah. My birthday's Christmas Day. Oh, oh you a Christmas baby? Wow. My brother is too. Day Capricorn. Capricorn. Wow. <laughs> oh, you a Capricorn. So that means yes. you real schedule oriented. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like Capricorns, oh, mommy. they plan. Definitely like my not. brother, like they plan a schedule. I like, hate last minute stuff. Mm -hmm. Last minute stuff stresses me. It'll mommy. mess y'all up so queen. much in the head. Like, yo, I am not. I need, they need that. We have to have it. it, it they need really that organization, that schedule. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we work good under high stress. Probably why I work a high stress job in mm -hmm. my life is like high stress. When I'm not stressed out, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you quit your nursing career to take over to help uh, with your boys? Or no, no, she's still a nurse. I still work in the ICU. Okay. Worked all of COVID. Caught COVID twice. Wow. Damn. Real Wait, shit. you caught it at the hospital? Yeah. I See, that's what I'd be wondering. Unit. Do these nurses like? Remember when COVID was going crazy? I always wondered, did they catch it too? Because they around it all day. Like y'all got to catch it. Absolutely, we got it. I feel like the hospital should do something for y'all. Um, you know what I'm saying it ain't even about the hospital. I'm gonna need y'all take care of my student loans. Big <laughs> facts. <laughs> they be like, since we gave you COVID, Miss <laughs> Jamie, we're gonna pay your student loans for you. 
Or just ask That's Floyd Mayweather. He might. Yeah, no way. You know, anybody want to take care of my student loans for me? Anybody you know, I'm out here saving lives. Student loans. <laughs> <to the up. laughs> now look, um, I know we all here. Everybody's single. Everybody's chilling. <laughs> Y'all down to play a game? Slime, you down to play a game? Hmm? You down to play a game? Yeah, I'm here. You down for a game? Yeah. All right, we're going to play a little game. Give me some game music. Nah, the whole song. We're going to play a card game. It's called Who Can Do It? So this is how we're going to do. You're going to take a you're going to take a card and pass it to your name. But who we got over there? Emily. <laughs> What's up, Emily? You want to come over here? Come grab a seat on the sofa if you want over here. All right, so this is what we're going to do for the game. You're going to grab a card and you're going to pass it to your neighbor. But do not look at the card. Wait. So we just get the card and just... Don't slide. look because it's going to make it more fun. Grab a card and pass it to your neighbor. Yeah, you come take a seat. Put on the headphones. Wait, so I keep the card and then give yeah. this mm -hmm. to you. Okay. Pass it to the camera. No, 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 no. I don't want to be on it. Oh. I just want to see. Let's <laughs> Grab a card and pass it to your neighbor, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't see it. I, I saw you. Don't look at it, Slime. Don't look. You bad to cheat. <laughs> he look. Slime, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, are you, anyone else playing the game? You're not playing? Okay. All right, so we're going to see what these cards say. Who want to go first? We'll start with Slime. What's your card say? <laughs> read it for us. You got to read it out Says sing. I do this on a daily. Are you basis. serious? How did he get that card out of every card? Wow. You definitely that's, set up this. Card. I swear, I <laughs> yo, that's crazy, bro. All these cards, I swear. It say it really say sing. <laughs> yo, isn't that wild? That's that wild. That's I put it on everything. I didn't plan that. This is a wild. It must what be you meant to sing be. For us? Oh man. Yo, that's crazy. I can't believe we got that card. This must be. This is some like voodoo shit. Like, how did this happen? <laughs> I'll play. <laughs> you definitely. Yeah. Hey, keep it real. You, you set up the cards. No, I, bro, I promise on every. I put it on my mom. I did not do that. It's That's good. weird, bro. No, no, no. On oh, my mom. Look, I passed. I was like, take a card to pass your net. I, I haven't even looked at mine, so wait, I don't know what it says. I put it on my mama. <laughs> on everything I love, I didn't plan that. This it's only was one card that says sing and it came to him. What kind of coincidence is that? This it's crazy. Is literally Go ahead and card. give us this an acapella. Isn't, this isn't really <laughs> fair, though. Like, I can sing. I want to do something different. Oh. Well, sing for us, though. We can do a walk card. I'll still sing, but I want to trade a card. You want to do a walk card? Right. And by the way, the rule is everyone can get one I'll wild sing. card. I will sing, but okay. I still want to. You want to grab one at the top? Yeah. If it says like sing again, now I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be like, it's really rigged in. Yeah. Name an iconic duo. Most iconic wins. Mm, that's a like rap game? Yeah, like or... celebrity. I'm going to name two. Will Smith and Jada? <laughs> nah. That situation ship? <laughs> <laughs> that's a couple. All right. Oh, a rap, wait, a rap duo? Not nah, like the, what best that, duo. Uh, the best duo. What that mean? Like, like Jay-Z Z and Beyonce? or No, like Ooh, a yeah. group. Yeah. So not a couple, just nope. anyone. Oh, anyone. okay, I'm okay. Gonna go I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with two. I'm going to go with Kobe and Shaq. Mm. And X and Ski. Mm, yes. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a real good one. Okay. All right. Now what you is your sing? Uh oh. Hey, Mama oh said it, God. not me. Why you want me to sing so bad? You hear me sing all day. Turn up. But they don't exactly say it again. All your, all the fans in the chat like sing, sing. <sighs> all right, let me let me go through my notes. Let me find a song to sing for y'all. By the way, if you guys in the chat want to ask some questions, let me know. Super chat question. As long as it's nothing too crazy. Yeah. I bet he got so many songs in that phone. No, it's not a singing song. Sing the song Oreo. No, you already mm -hmm. heard that one. Not live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna sing that one. All right. Mm, all right. Hey, world premiere. World premiere, acapella. I'm, not going, I'm not gonna really sing though. I'm gonna just hit you all the. Uh. <laughs> YNWB slime world premiere. Are y'all right. ready? Y'all ready? Let's ready? get it. It's crazy because I used to do this. I used to do this. <laughs> y'all just brought back <laughs> memory that I used to do on live. I used to be like, so <laughs> nope. Y'all ready? Hold on. <laughs> get that water. Get that drink. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I that other this cell. Cell. Bruh. <laughs> it's Bruh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. You All right. You got this. Caught up in your vibe. I'm trying to get your image out my mind while trying to change the. Pictures of us underwater, dust on the glass on the floor. Pictures of us just remind me that you're not mine anymore. Running in circles, I'm out of my mind. If we get close enough, we can't stop time. Oh, 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 I can't deny that I... Hold on. Need some space, cause I know that I, I cannot right my wrongs, but I can sing them, don't know where I belong, cause I don't fit in, feels like I'm floating up, am I still dreaming, I knew it all along, that you would leave me. Hey, round of applause. Oh, hold, on. So nice. hold on, he ain't done, hold on. Oh, it's I'm going to sing all the verse, I'm going to sing all the verse. Hold on, I actually forgot the verse goes. Hold on. If I could drive, I'd drive 3,000 miles just to see you. And if I could fly, I'll take you somewhere only we know. I would dial 300 numbers just to reach you. I'll never tell you that I'll never need you. I know that we getting older. We floating up in the space. I know that, I know that we picking pedals. I know that you broke the vase. I know you dance with the devil. They see what they're in your face. And no, I can't take it anymore. Hey, round of applause, man. YNWB Slum. Yo, this man can really sing. Yes. I didn't know you was the Chris Brown. You on some Chris Brown shit, man. That's my king. And mama, while you were singing, she was just looking so proud. Like, I was looking at her. She was just, she's like. I love this. So uh, let me ask you, man, because I know you singing and everything, but like, do you do any like dance moves like Chris Brown and shit? Like, are you just like, hey, 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 hey? hey. That, that right there is all I got. <laughs> <laughs> you pull the next card, it might say dance now. <laughs> Shout out to oh, you. Oh, I got man. a bit more card? Nah, you well, you can, but I do. What does mom's card say? Oh, let me see. Let me see. Mine says, really? Say it in the mic. Tell the group an embarrassing story about yourself. Most embarrassing story wins. <laughs> Ooh. Uh-oh. What could that be? What's an embarrassing moment you had? Wait, do we all have to say embarrassing moments? Just the whoever, whatever their car say. I'm to think. I don't really get embarrassed much because I don't be giving a shit. So. You never had like a crazy embarrassing moment. You just was like, bro, I'm so embarrassed. You have. Which one? Slime no one. The kids don't be caring. You know, <laughs> it be your own. You gotta kids. tell me because I. No. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I really don't know. Like I be feeling, like I don't really be getting. I like just know that four different embarrassing moments just popped into your head. <laughs> like, I'm not She's like, I'm not about to tell y'all what happened on air because that shit. <laughs> I got my people watching. I ain't about to tell you what my embarrassing moment. No, I ain't gonna lie. Like I did have an embarrassing moment before. 
Mm. Because like I had just started wearing lace wigs mm -hmm. and like in Vero Beach, people didn't really know how to put them on. Mm -hmm. And um I let this guy put a lace wig on for me. Ooh, he and messed he did it not up. he not only did he mess it up, but then when I took it off, he didn't tell me like how to take it off. Mm. Oh I, I, <laughs> <laughs> she um she I lost all my edges. You lying, yo. I heard that be happening it to was, people. I was bald. Edges was so gone. So wait, when I you took so it off, it pulled your hair off? My edges was gone. Like, like Why? Smooth. Like, smooth. Oh, like smooth. Let me no. do my hair. You just snatched it off. They heavy handed. No, he told me. Damn. To use conditioner. Oh, Lord. Oh. Yeah. See, now, you know, I'm like a wig expert now. I know you use 90% alcohol. So back then he said use conditioner. And I put conditioner and tried and to probably was the take it off. Mm. And I lost all my edges. That was very much so embarrassing because I definitely didn't. I know you they cussed him out. I would have been mad like, bruh, bruh give me my money back. I had I'm no, writing five rap bad I reviews. Had no edges. What? What that song? I got my edges back. I got my edges back. <laughs> I got edges now, y'all. I got edges now. Yeah, I see wig. I got long Look at her. She got the curly edges on the side. I see you. Child, it's a wig. <laughs> I see the edges, though. So How does it work for a wig? Like, can like, do you are you real like since like you know some girls be like don't touch my hair mm -hmm. are you one of them like bro you can look but don't touch are you lit touch or no don't touch my hair <laughs> <laughs> it's none of your business nope what's going on up here mm -hmm. as long as it look good don't yeah. touch it mm -hmm. do you go like to that? yeah don't touch my hair don't touch my hair <laughs> it's, it's in place you even looking on right here look you too here. close you do you let girls me. touch your hair fam huh? you let girls touch your hair they have to. <laughs> <laughs> I get my it's different for guys, though. Yeah, because you got to get it twisted up and stuff. Oh, that's probably the first reaction. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't so, let random girls touch my hair, though. I don't know where your hands been. So, like, if a random, <laughs> if a random, uh, a random fan in like Target walk up to you, like, oh, can I touch your hair? You can be like, nah, you good. <laughs> you gonna look like can nope. touch your hair? <laughs> All right. What does your card say? Miss Asian Queen. Trendiest outfit on right now wins. Say it in the mic. I can't oh. hear you. Trendiest outfit on right now wins. Trendiest outfit on. Hmm. Bro, this man about to. Bro, I got on polo. I have on. Bro, but you got the ice on, though. Yeah, so got, like, the ice making. You can wear a white tee if you got the ice on. You mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Well, we're going to vote sign. That watch is like yeah. probably the trendiest. What do you say? Are we all gonna vote slime? Hey, yeah. slime, hey, slime one. Slime one. See, look, you can have a t-shirt on, but he got the roll, he got the ice on, dog. It's different when you got the ice on. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even I got put the on Versace the shirt on, but he got the roller, you know what I mean? I like I really the watch he got my vote though. Yeah, watch clean. Yeah. All right, what does your card say? Whoever has the most cash on them wins. Ooh, I that's me. Not Whoever kidding. has the most cash. <laughs> no, I'm broke. I'm trying to rob me after this shit. Who got the most cash on them? I got my card. I got I a lot of money on my card. But right now. I, ain't gonna I never have cash. I don't do I cash don't anymore. Have, I got money on my card. Yeah. You know, I used to be that dude that would walk around with like 20, 30 grand in my pocket. You remember back in the day, I used to do that. Yeah. I was ignorant, but it's like once you grow up, you just, it's a card, man. I ain't got nothing to prove. Oh, wait. I do have cash. I think I won. Oh, you got cash? How much cash, bitch? No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she Wait, she been dancing. She got them oh, dancing. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. don't even don't even. Hold on, open it up. I don't even got a hundred dollars in cash. I sold She's wigs. Working. This this today, I sold some wigs and blah blah blah. Yeah, I literally blah, blah. have a hundred bucks in cash. <laughs> That's it. I'm out. Now look, <laughs> now her her jacket says, "I need money, not love." <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> she over there crawling. <laughs> that money got a bill on it already. I don't worry. <laughs> Being an adult suck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What does your card say? Give me your best fake or forced smile. Oh. Say it in the mic. I can't hear you. Give me your best fork, forced or fake smile. You look like you know how to be fake, too, and give someone a fake <laughs> smile. Okay. You know you know how to do it. Like You know how y'all girls be like, hey, girl, uh, I miss I you, bitch. Like You know you don't miss that bitch. Hey, boo. <laughs> That's my favorite. If I, I do fake. Yeah. Oh, you keep it gangster. Hey, boo. My face, my face tells on me. Oh, yeah. I, I have a problem. You hard at hiding it? I'm very hard. It's the Capricorn in me. I can't. I can't be fake. Like, 
You ever tried and it still don't work? It don't work. Damn. My face tells on me every time. <laughs> but shout out to the mask mandate. I've gotten away with yeah. a lot of facial yeah. expressions because oh. that, mask, mm-hmm. that mask be saving me. That's why we going to keep wearing our mask. Bro, with that <laughs> mask, you can get away with a lot of stuff. Yes. Sorry like, that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick a card. You cheating. That's your card right there. I know, but okay. My car says describe the judge in three emojis. But who's the judge? You. I can't describe myself. So let me get a wild card. What about the purple? <laughs> it says whoever is wearing the most expensive accessory or piece of clothing wins. Wow. I think slime might win. Slime won because he got the rolly on <laughs> the, the bust, bust down. down. The chain. My man in one too, bro. Bust down. Um, I, left, I left my bus down. I ain't yeah, bringing much, today. How much is That's your not fit a bus down kind of day? Because you got the Versace shirt. Wait, it's like nine hundred, seven hundred. Like jewelry included. Yeah. Yeah. Start from the shirt. That's good. Seven ninety eight. Twenty two thousand. My watch is Wait, 60. break it down. Yeah. So you beat me. I'm only on twenty two grand. Sixty at all. Yeah, I'm twenty two. Yeah. The chain is 75. Yeah. I'm 22 gram. All right. I mean, you got on polo. You you, you want to downgrade polo? <laughs> I mean, hey, if you count the polo, we got, how much was your t-shirt? Like, like $50. They're like $50. And then the pants are like, are like 100 And the pants are like 100 and then have on some breaking socks. Shout Birkin out Drew. <laughs> Not shout out Drew. Shout out Drew for the breaking socks. <laughs> and then I got on some polo. What's socks. the wait? What's the Birkin socks? Let me see those. You never seen Birkin socks? Show everybody the socks. They're slides. They're, They're slides. slides. They're called Birkin socks. Oh, those clean. Those are money oh, slides. I yeah. Never knew. They are comfy. Mm-hmm. They are money slides. <laughs> you a home bot? Like, do you dress up or you more like just be in? T-shirt or bodysuit or uh, bodysuit hoodies tights. I hate dressing up. I hate it. Do you go out a lot? No. You don't like turn up outside. I do turn up outside, but not a lot. Like you know. So when you go out, do you go all out, or you like you dress all out, and you go crazy? Not really. So like I don't know if I can agree with that because I see you outside. You had the outfit on. You be having your pieces on. Like the Fendi outfit. I be seeing. With your pieces on. Yeah. Okay, okay. So when I pop out, I do pop out. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm leave it at that. When I pop out, I pop out. But what, what's your what's mom's favorite designer? You be having your Fendi on. I, be saying I love Fendi. I be saying Look, I got on Fendi slides. Uh-huh. I got on Fendi slides right now. I love Fendi. Um, let me let me see your slides. Oh, doing a shoe. <laughs> shoe cam. Okay, got the Fendi slides <laughs> on. Ooh, Yeah, what's a what's a fun fact about Melly and Slime that a lot of people don't know? So, fun fact. Um Melly's favorite candy is Gushers and Slime favorite candy is Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> we got to get Slime that Sour Patch Kids endorsement. Yeah, get us all right. free Sour Patch when y'all come Yo, to the studio. I love Sour Patch Kid candy. I love like sour Gushers. stuff too. I like Gushers. Gushers. Gushers is good too. They went by my bed like right now. <laughs> What's by your bed? Gushers. That Gushers. Real, real talk, that is mm-hmm. Melly's favorite, favorite, favorite candy. Like if, if he go to the studio anything, he got to have Gushers and a Sprite. Aww. Well, mm. Gushers, Sprite, and Hennessy. <laughs> 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 now, have you... I know you're 14, but have you ever, like, tried liquor before? Like, did you used to give them a teaspoon of, like, stuff you to know, put them in bed? You when and I stuff? was six, no. when I was six, right? Wait, when you were six? <laughs> you like, remember that far like back? Seven, it was, like, seven or eight. I was around that age. I was on the boat. We was on the boat with my dad. <laughs> and I had hopped off the boat, and he had beer in his hand. And I kept on grabbing it. Like, I kept on grabbing it. And he said, you know, here, take a sip. I took a sip and I like threw up. <laughs> and ever since then, I always have a bad taste about beer or anything. Mm. Beer is nasty. You know how it is once you have a bad experience with something, nope. just like mess you up. Yeah. Like if you ever meet someone, especially a girl that's like grown and she'd be like, I don't drink. It's for a, fucking, it's for I, a reason. I don't drink Ciroc Ew. at you all. You don't drink Ciroc? Hell no. Not at all. Sorry, Diddy. Not at all. Mm. <laughs> I had a horrible, horrible. What happened? You threw up? beyond that it was just bad how many times did you throw up like five it was coming out my nose Mm. yeah that That happened to me i hate that like back in the day what once it come out my nose 
me and you, our relationship is done. Like my relationship <laughs> with Ciroc was finished from that day. Damn. Then the smell start bothering you. Like, I hate it. So I what's your favorite it. liquor? Ooh. Casamigos. Casamigos. You know, we had to have that Casamigos <laughs> for you when you got here. What's y'all favorite liquor? I don't drink, actually. Oh, look oh, at you. So like Are you a virgin as well? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I, I lost it like literally last year. <laughs> wow. You lost it last year? Oh. Wait, talking to Mike. Tell I, us about that. <laughs> I was like <laughs> raised Christian. I was gonna wait till marriage, but then I was in like a long distance, like long term relationship, and I was like, I think now is the right time. So. Was it good or? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so I sorry. Feel like nobody's okay. first. Now was Everybody he? First time what was he? Was he Asian? Was he a brother? Was yeah, he? Yeah, easy. He was what? <laughs> Asian. Okay. Oh, you know what they say about Asian. What they oh, say about Asian? Man, Sawi. Oh, oh, look at you. <laughs> That's why she said it was okay. She was like, oh, yeah. He was like, she need to try a brother. <laughs> Have you ever dated a brother? Yeah. Oh, okay. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. She said, I know that. Once you go black, you never go back. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever dated outside your race? No. Really? Yeah, I know, right? You never try like a Latin boy or I'm white open guy. To, I'm definitely open to you guys. Okay, so I was married 15 you years. You were married, yeah. so you just back outside. Now. <laughs> I'm just getting outside. Yeah. Y'all gotta give me time. I'm trying to warm up to being outside. You know. Yeah, you gotta warm up. You know. What about slime? Do you um, you ever found yourself attracted outside your race or what? What, do you, what is slime like? Because you give me like Spanish. <laughs> I like. It's not giving Spanish. He give me he likes Spanish girls. Anything that walks. No. <laughs> <laughs> he said anything that walks. No. Um, Yo, give him like three more years. He gonna be outside. He gonna be dogging out no, outside. I hate the thought of it. I hate the thought of it. Let him. He gonna be like, wake up in the morning. I got girls on my mind. Trying to get up in them in the hips and they spine. Not playing. <laughs> but shout out. We gonna put you on a remix. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I don't really got a race, a special race. That's how I am. I don't have a type. I think everything's situational. Me you too. like who you like. like. You can meet someone that may not be like what you used to date, but you might like them. You never know. You never know. I think you just, if you meet someone, you just might be attracted <laughs> to them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I went on a date with an Indian doctor. That's cool. An Indian doctor. Yeah. We went and had Indian. His name wasn't Lambo Doc, was it? Shout out to Lambo Doc in Atlanta. That's my bro. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say his name, but it you was nice. We had Indian food. It was like really I spicy. love Indian food. It was it's good. Spicy? Yo, it's not that. I mean, it's I like spicy. spicy, but it's not that spicy. I'm but go to it was just for the food. The food I'm going to take, uh, we should go all the way. I know an Indian restaurant in Miami called Daya. Daya. I want to take, uh, we'll go all out there for uh, brunch. Let's it's go. It's the best. Indian, Indian food is really, spot. really go good. I didn't yeah. know. I, it's Indian. very much slept yeah. on. I saw all I see on my, my Instagram is like street food my from India. It's like crazy. What's your friends? You say your friends what? What they say? My friends, my friend Juan, he's watching this right now. What's his name? His name's Juan. Shout out to Juan, man. Hey, don't shout Juan. that man out. Oh, don't shout him out. Never mind. Don't no. shout not shout out to you, bro. I take that back. He likes you. He likes me. Oh, he yeah. like he like what? The Asian? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Stand up, stand up, show everybody your outfit. Show everybody your outfit. Stand up. Drip check, drip check. Drip check. And she got a snatched waist. Do a little spin. Okay, you got a little teardrop booty back there. I see you. Okay. Let me see your outfit for everybody. Let me see yours. Stand up. Yeah, let me see yours. I feel like she's sitting on something over there. She's sitting on something. Give us the line. Oh. Now I see why you was outside of Melly's window out there that day. <laughs> I know Melly was looking at you like, damn, who was that one? Yeah. Yeah, now, hold on. We got Miss Thick like, Queen over here. I know you sitting on something. Yeah. What that outfit looking like? Stand up. I didn't, I didn't even know down. where I was coming Stand today. Stand up. Let me see it. Ooh, turn around. Ooh. She got a little thing back there. Don't be looking at that slime. We got to keep your mind pure. Yeah, pure, pure, pure. Don't be looking at these girls. He too young for all of that. Okay. Nope. Are you? Gonna, <laughs> nope. Do you think you're gonna be disappointed once he starts like getting outside more? Like <laughs> you like him how he is now? You know what I'm saying? I love how he is now because he's my baby. Like, yeah. I don't have I don't have no more other kids. Like that's it for me. <laughs> it's got to stay my baby, but they all grow up. 
Yeah. How old is your baby? <laughs> I don't have kids. I thought you said you had a son or something. No. I heard no, you earlier. No, no. Nope. I must have heard wrong. You gotta have a man for kids. <laughs> no, she said she's single. She ain't <laughs> got no kids. man. No, nope. no babies over here. She's got a dog. <laughs> I got a puppy, a dog Fendi. Yo, dog mama. You Your a dog, dog mama? Name is Fendi. Yes, I love it. Yo, I used to have a dog named Gucci. Who was Gucci? <laughs> Shout out to my dog Gucci, man. I want my dog back. <laughs> what happened to your dog? Oh. Me and my ex broke up, and she kept it. Is that the rule? You like when y'all break the up, the girl get to keep the dog. You got a co-parent. Like, co-parent. No, you have to co-parent the dog. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have to co-parent. You got to co-parent the dog. You got to. You, 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 you deserve your rights. Mm-hmm. It you wasn't it. your dog. It was her dog. <laughs> Yeah. That, yeah. But I feel like whenever a girl break up with a dude, she always get to keep the dog, man. Why is that? No. Y'all be like. I mean, not always. Like, real talk. I know people that, like, bad. co-parent the dog. Walker Flocka and his wife just yeah, said the co- same thing. Yeah, like, I'm co-parenting. They broke up? Yeah, they broke up. They were so was cute. Like, I used to like them. Right? Damn. I can't believe it. Co-parenting their dog. I, I really like can't believe They've been together for up. a long time, too. She did. Yeah. She is. She Have you ever dated a celebrity? Because I know you've been around a lot of you know people with your sons being celebrities. You being no, she shit. hasn't. No, I she don't. better not. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be weird, right? Yeah. I'd be freaked out if my mom was dating like a Chris Brown or like. Nah, because it's like you know my mom used to like it's genuine, and my mom was dating <laughs> genuine. I'd be creeped out. It's, it's like. Bro, I gotta work with these people. You're yeah. not trying to work with your boyfriend, gang. Literally, like, that's yeah. like that's literally one of the major rules. Like, like y'all will be in the studio, he'd be like, Hey man, give him a pause. I gotta call your moms real quick, make sure oh, she good. You be oh, like, What nigga, we were calling your mom her phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yo, right. call your mom, she's not answering for me. She man. blocked me call. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I don't I do not date rappers. Me neither. Sorry. See? Nope. See? Not at all. I would totally. All right. So if Drake, if Drake walked in here right now and asked you for your number, what you gonna do? Be honest. He's a singer. <laughs> you said. You said he don't count. He ain't he's no regular singer. rapper. He, he's a singer. Yeah. He's a lyricist. Yeah. He's not a regular rapper. He's different. That's funny. He's on a. All right. So if Kodak. Slime, wait, Slime. Would you approve of me dating Drake? Bro, that's that feature, bro. <gasps> no. I don't oh care. snap! You get the whole. Bro, that's code. that feature. Oh, hell no. I could see a B slime I mean, feature and Drake feature. I could, I could get a Drake feature. I mean, put your mind and dedication to it. I mean, at the end of the day, these people are human. You know that's what I'm saying? That's true, yeah. Facts. All these people is human. That's so facts. It's like, facts. Yeah. It's facts. like when people be like, oh, you got a Drake feature? How? Bro, he's a human. All you got to, all you really got to do. Just reach out. Reach keep, out. Keep you know? being great. They're going to come to you. Exactly. You ever, Do you turn down a lot of features? Like, do people, like, because I mean, you know how it is, once you blow up, everybody be like, yo, let me get a feature. How do you deal with that? Every, like, everybody you know, does. You know, artists do paid features. I don't do that. So you I, you got to really like it and want to do I, it. I want to, I, I make features and I make music for the love of music. Like, mm. if I like your craft and I like what you're doing, I'm going to hop on your song and I'm going to try to do everything in my power to put you to the next level. Hey, that's real. Because you got some artists who will do a feature. You'll get them a bunch of money. They not even going to post it. They not going to help you. I just seen some people like bought features like they spend thirty, forty thousand, and just have be it. Exactly. <laughs> You'll never hear the artist talking about B-Slime it. B Slime do his features, and he's very selective mm. about his features. And he'll post it. He'll and even he yo. He's really, really, really good with his features, <laughs> but he don't do many features. So you telling me if you met an underground rapper that wasn't big, and but you really like him, you would do I a have. feature. He, he has. I've done with, like with three. We got Snow Banks. Shout out to Snow. Shout um, out to Snow. We got Hurricane, Hurricane Wisdom. And we got Derek, NV Derek. That's what's up, man. And these are all people that, what what they got, like 10K? 10K? Oh, Derek got 10K. K. Yeah. Hold on, I can, I think Hurricane got like 30K. Let me see. I can look at him right now. That's what's He's up. He's got a million followers. You feel me? He get a million listeners on Spotify. Hurricane got 30K. Derek like, got 10K. And Snow has like 5K. That's what's up, man. And That's he, dope because a lot of people Jay, don't think he, like that. His features are. Like, I'm, I'm low key proud of myself. I'm, I'm low key I'm proud, proud of myself too, because, um, you know, I just dropped a song called "Fair Enough." Snow only had like 65 monthly listeners, or like somewhere around there. We dropped "Fair Enough." She went up to 11,000 monthly listeners. That's amazing. Wow, man! Congratulations to you, man. You get a million. How many monthly listeners is getting? I have 1.3 million. 1.3 wow. million monthly wow. listeners. Wow, man. And you, and you just getting started, damn He's a baby. He's Imagine where he's going to be. All right. If you could say you were the next Lil Wayne, would you would you say you could be the next Lil Wayne on that level once you, you know what I mean, reach your peak? 
I mean, I'm trying to be greater than all them. I mean, not to like sound cocky, but all these people are legends. But I'm just, I'm focused on me. I'm trying to be the greatest. You know, that's real, that's man. That's my goal. Because you know what I, you know what I tell people. Because I get a lot of people be like, I'm just trying to be like you, man. I'm trying to be like you. And you know what I tell people? I be like, don't be like me. Be, be better, better than, than me. Better than you me. know what I'm saying? Be better than me. Exactly. Like everybody be like. Oh. I'm trying to rap like you. I'm trying to be like you, bro. Do your own thing and watch how far you, you take yourself. You never want to be like another person. That's okay. real. Mm-hmm. And I want to ask you, mama, yes. what advice would you give to a parent that has talented kids and whatever they kids. do? What what advice would you give them to like, if they want to yeah. blow their kids up, they want to be artists or models or actors and they don't know what to do. What advice would you give them? So my number one <laughs> advice is, always believe in your kids and let them be themselves. Mm-hmm. I never ever hindered my kids when they would be screaming, yelling in the house, mm-hmm. singing. I went and bought them a karaoke machine to let them sing. Mm-hmm. Don't uh, it's something with our culture specifically. We be like your kids be singing and running around the house you tell them like, "Oh, shut up, be quiet. Y'all making all that noise." When my kids make noise, I encourage them to make noise. Because it's not just noise. It's mm. actually music. It's actually like them are being themselves. They're being creative. And support your kids. Go. Listen. I know girls that go to the end of the earth for a man. Go to the end of the earth for your kids. Real talk. I go to the end of the earth for mine. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ride to the wheels fall off about my kids. So the same way you're going to ride about a nigga in the streets Write about your kids like that because you never know. Because at the end of the day, your kids is going to love you forever. They're going to be there for you forever. That's who you need to ride for. Real talk. I That's don't... real, man. Round of applause. <laughs> Round of applause for Jamie King. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> when can we expect Melly to come home? Uh, May. Um, May? May. So, 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 so. She she says May, but if they pick a jury fast, he could be home. Yes, like late April. Hey, we gonna do it like this. Everybody Melly. in the building on the count of three, say free Melly. One, two, three. Free Melly. Hey, I just want to give a shout out to everybody watching, man. Thanks for tuning in. I want to give a special shout out to Miss Jamie King for coming in, showing love. This is an exclusive interview. And hey, you know, we got to give a big, 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 big shout out to YNWB Slime. Congratulations to you and all your success. Can I do some shout outs? Absolutely. Do every shout out you want to do, my man. <laughs> Let me make sure these. All right. We got so the first, list. Hold on. Put that list first, up. Shout out to my brother, Jamel. Shout out to my brother, Boyland. Shout out to um my dog, Nikos. You know, he's the owner of Phantom Global. You know, I got to do something for my dog, Juan. Oh, Juan yeah. likes you? Um, <laughs> That's your boyfriend. Shout out shout out to my, my boy, Michael. Shout out to Frankie. He's been helping me produce, you know, make beats. So always love that game. Um, I, I hate this nigga. <laughs> but um, shout out to my dog Gavin. He's an upcoming <laughs> artist. Um, his stuff is who TF is Gav. You know, you don't gotta search it up, but if you want to, yeah. um, <laughs> shout out to my man Leo, <laughs> my best friend. Love you, Leo. Leo. Um, shout out to my mama. Shout out to my dad. Shout out to mom. Oh. Of course, and shout out to Ethan. Where did that nigga go? Oh, he in the kitchen yeah, chilling. Of course. Shout out to my he dog Ethan, kitchen, man. Without him, I wouldn't chicken. really be um, really wouldn't be motivated. So What's, he keeps me going, and that's about it. Well, how do you how did you like the We in Miami podcast? It was lit. I mean, look, uh, net, 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 but you know, it was raw. That's, that's what's up, man. <laughs> that's what's up, man. And you know, shout out we to you, Miami. man. I really appreciate you taking the time. I know you had a video shoot you were at earlier. No, I actually overslept it. Oh, you like, did? Okay. I literally, I was, um. Because you was up all night recording, oh, right? Yeah, I, I, I literally, like, I woke up at 7 p.m. and I thought it was 7 a.m. Oh, dang. Yes, he missed his video shoot today. And um, I missed my brother's um Taylor. I had to go 
because he can't me and my brother are like the same size now mm-hmm. and i was supposed to go get his suits like measured to fit now him. wait hold on you got a little brother you got another one no no, no. no. melly and melly. him are the same exact size yeah. oh i thought she's okay so so we were gonna go get his suits measured but i overslept it mm. and i gotta, we gotta go get, do that tomorrow so i tried to get the suits tailored and they told me i couldn't get the suits tailored because they need someone to like put the suits on to like pin them to fit because you know melly's tiny Mm, yeah they're literally the same size so he was supposed to go today so we can get the suits tailored because for four you know we start in trial free melly so you know he gonna come out in his little suits spiffy <laughs> that's what's up man shout out to you man i really appreciate you coming through to the podcast showing love of appreciate course. you jamie man you guys are welcome anytime i appreciate you, all you lovely ladies mm-hmm. and make sure you follow them their links are in the description and guess what, man? Free it's hey, it, we screaming free Melly. Free Melly. We screaming free, free Melly. Melly and look, before we get out of here, make sure you guys show love to the video, like, subscribe, and I'm gonna ask y'all again, where we at? We, we in Miami. Miami. Hey, I live let's here. Get it. We in Miami.